Hello, for today's video lecture, we're going to be talking about the resolution of a force into a force and a couple. So, when we resolve a force into a force and a couple, we are finding a force and a moment that are statically equivalent to the original force. Uh, this allows us to shift the point of application of a force from some original point to some new point of interest, uh, while maintaining the same net effect on the object. So if we shift a bunch of forces into a single point, uh, we can simply add up those forces, add up those moments, uh, and find the equivalent force couple system, which is the simplified version of our system. We'll talk more about that in a future video. So here I have a force acting on a wrench, uh, and imagine we have this force acting on the wrench as shown below. So we might want to imagine the force's effect uh, on the bolt that uh, we have here in the problem. So we might want to know what is the effect that uh, the bolt might experience in all of this. So to do this we could resolve the force into a force and a couple, uh, a pure moment acting about the center of the bolt. So to do this I want to know what is the equivalent force over here, what is the equivalent moment, uh, and so the, the force might cause the bolt head to shear off, the moment might cause the bolt to twist. Alright, so how would we figure this out? So to visualize the process of resolving a force into a statically equivalent force and couple, uh, we imagine the following. So draw a free body diagram with the original forces. So here we've got our original force on the uh, object. We're going to pick a point we want to have the equivalent force couple acting about. So clearly identify that point. Here is the center of the bolt. Uh, and we've got some distance that's going to be important in our calculations. Um, next up, we're going to imagine drawing in two equal and opposite forces acting at that point. So these are going to be the same magnitude as the original force. Uh, one is going to be in the same direction, the other is going to be in the opposite direction. So here we've got the force and negative force basically, um, and we're essentially adding zero force. We're adding two equal and opposite forces, so we're adding no net force. We are not changing the problem here. Um, so the situation is still statically equivalent to what it was before. Um, and now these two forces are going to form a couple. So the two that are moving here, uh, the original force and the opposite uh, of the force over here. So those are a, it's a couple, it's sort of equal and opposite, but not collinear forces. Uh, and the remaining force, this force down here, is left over. So this couple can be draw, redrawn as a moment, uh, leaving only this single uh, force left over. So get rid of the, the couple, redraw that as some equivalent moment, uh, and now we have a force and a moment acting, uh, both of which are acting at my bolt over here. So as a shortcut to the equivalent force couple system, that whole process of drawing in the equal and opposite forces, uh, we can simply take the force and kind of move it over. Uh, so the force is always going to be moved over, and the couple, or the pure moment, will be equal to the moment that this force exerts about the point of interest. So if I take this force and I move it over and I find the net moment of this force and just create that moment over here, that is my shortcut to this whole process. So this equivalent force and equivalent moment to my original scenario, get rid of the original force. Uh, this is my resolution of a force into a force in a couple at a separate point. All right, that's all we have for today's video lecture. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again.